Hello, you are watching Balahibo Math Genius Riddles. This is a fun math questions about factorial equations. 1 over n mass 1 factorial mass 1 over n factorial equal to 1 over n and n is positive integers find the value of n. In this video, we have two ideas to find the value. Would you please to submit? Pause the video and find it while you are ready. Keep watching the video to know the result. Before we start, let's recap what is factorial. n factorial equal to n times n minus 1 times the number with number difference 1 from the previous number. So n minus 1 minus 1 equal to n minus 2. Then time n minus 2 minus 1 equal to n minus 3. Da, 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 to the small numbers, 3 times 2 times 1. For example, 5 factorial equal to 5 times 5 minus 1 equal to 4 times 4 minus 1 equal to 3 times 2 times 1. 4 factorial equal to 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Da, da, da. 1 factorial equal to 1, and we define 0 factorial equal to 1. And uh, there is another important formula, n factorial equal to n times quantity n minus 1 factorial, such as 5 factorial equal to 5 times 4 factorial. Okay, back to the given equations, 1 over n minus 1 factorial, mass 1 over n factorial equal to 1 over n. Let's check from the small numbers. We have 1 over n in the right side of equations, so n not equal to 0. While n equal to 1, then the left side of equation equal to 1 over bracket 1 mass 1 bracket factorial mass 1 over 1 factorial equal to 1 over 0 factorial mass 1 over 1 factorial equal to 1 mass 1 equal to 0. And uh, the right side of equation equal to 1 over 1 equal to 1. So n equal to 1 is not the solution. Check n equal to 2. The left side is 1 over bracket 2 mass 1 bracket factorial mass 1 over 2 factorial equal to 1 over 1 factorial mass 1 over 2 factorial equal to 1 mass 1 over 2 equal to 1 over 2. And uh, the right side is 1 over 2, it is equal. So n equal to 2 is the solution. How about n equal to 3? Left side is 1 over bracket 3 mass 1 factorial mass 1 over 3 factorial equal to 1 over 2 factorial mass 1 over 3 factorial equal to 1 over 2 mass 1 over 6 equal to 1 over 3. And uh, the right side as 1 over 3 is equal to. So n equal to 3 is a solution. Then check n equal to 4. Left side is 1 over bracket 4 minus 1 bracket factorial mass 1 over 4 factorial as 1 over 3 factorial mass 1 over 4 factorial equal to 1 over 6 mass 1 over 24 equal to 1 over 8. And the right side is 1 over 4. It is not equal. We may try more to find the solution or find the pattern to judge which one is correct. Let's just uh, pause here. Now I'm going to find the solution with reasonable methods. At first, reduction of the two fractions in the left side of equations as n factorial mass quantity n mass 1 factorial over quantity n mass 1 factorial times n factorial equal to 1 over n. Then 
n factorial in the numerator are just as n times quantity n minus 1 factorial. Factorize the numerator as quantity n minus 1 times quantity n minus 1 factorial. We have quantity n minus 1 factorial in the denominator and the numerator of these fractions. And we know quantity n minus 1 factorial not equal to 0. So eliminate it become n minus 1 over n factorial equal to 1 over n. Then develop it as n time bracket n minus 1 bracket equal to n factorial. Again, n factorial equal to n time quantity n minus 1 factorial in the right side of equations. Then move all the items to the same side. Factorize as n time bracket quantity n minus 1 factorial minus quantity n minus 1 bracket equal to 0 and not equal to zero, so quantity n minus one factorial minus quantity n minus one equal to zero. Try again, adjust the quantity n minus one factorial equal to quantity n minus one times quantity n minus two factorial. Factorize it as quantity n minus one times bracket quantity n minus two factorial minus one bracket equal to zero. So we get n minus 1 equal to 0, then n equal to 1, but we know n equal to 1 is not the solution. And uh, quantity n minus 2 factorial minus 1 equal to 0, it means quantity n minus 2 factorial equal to 1. While the factorial value equal to 1, it could be 1 factorial equal to 1, or 0 factorial equal to 1. Then it is that n minus 2 equal to 1 get n equal to 3, or n minus 2 equal to 0 get n equal to 2. That's the answer we find. Do you get it? Hope you to enjoy the video. Thank you.